Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What's up, squares? I just paid off my school loans. So to help with the transition of not having two mortgages to pay every month, I bought a telescope. Regardless of what telescope you get, it'll come with a telescope, probably a diagonal, a finder scope, and an eyepiece. It'll probably also come with some kind of mount and a tripod. In addition, I bought a power supply, another eyepiece, and this package came with a phone attachment. I'm not sure I'll use it. I've wanted a telescope my whole life, and after a lot of research, joining an astronomy club, Borrowing telescopes, I landed on Celestron's 8-inch schmidt Casimir. They were described to me as good at it a lot, but not great at anything, kind of like me. So I thought that would work out pretty good. Um, I live in a very light polluted city, so this one has a lot of focal length or zoom. And planets are pretty much available no matter where you live. So I figured this would be pretty good for that. So here it is fully assembled. You got your finder scope, the diagonal, and your eyepiece. The reason I got a second eyepiece is because these are your way to zoom in. Once you get everything lined up, you pull it out and you can drop a new one in. That's a little more zoomed in. Maybe the coolest thing about these telescopes is the go-to mount. Once you have it calibrated, basically telling it what day it is and where it is, you can have it point to things in the sky, which is great for people like me that don't know where anything is. It's still light outside, but before you can use it, you have to line up the finder scope. So let's go outside and do that. And of course it's raining. Who knew buying a telescope could control the weather? Is this what Smokey the Bear meant by only I can prevent forest fires? Do firefighters know about this? Do farmers? So many questions. Since it's raining, we're gonna do this inside and use a water tower way out there. Um, this does use batteries, but I got it plugged in with that power supply I bought. So first step is to line up your object in your widest eyepiece. So now that it's lined up, I'm gonna zoom in with this other eyepiece and get it even more centered. Now that that's extra lined up, you can turn on your finder scope and using the adjustment knobs, put the red dot on your object. And that should be pretty good. After what feels like about a hundred days, we finally have a break in the clouds. I'm here in the garage, facing east, where Saturn, the Moon, and Jupiter should be up. So I'm going to try and look at those. First thing we have to do is align our telescope. Ideally you'd use two or three stars, but since I live in a super light polluted area, we're going to have to use one of the planets, or the Moon. I don't want to get into too much of a tutorial since I don't really know what I'm doing, but basically you tell the telescope where you are, what day it is, what time it is, and what you're looking at. The better job you do with alignment, the more accurately it will find and keep following stuff. I was able to attach an old digital camera with some new pieces of hardware I bought, which I'm sure extended the poopy weather, and got these photos. Shout out to Jamanu for all the music in today's video. Go check him out and listen to his stuff while you're looking at stuff in the sky.